the more we communicate together, uh, Israel and the international community or representatives from all around the world, uh, the better the dialogue is. Um, you can be so, uh, uh, you know, wrongly directed, uh, but what uh, reporters report on news and media or social media or the even, you know, lies that people are spreading uh, on campuses, we've seen that a lot. And, and basically it's either par partial truth, some of it is complete lies. And when you come here to Israel and, or when Israelis go overseas, and we start discussing the real issues uh, that Israel needs to face or issues that are happening right now in Israel, uh, we start a dialogue and suddenly this whole uh, complex picture is opening straight in front of you and you start to understand the situation of Israel and it's easier or, you know, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's more directly passed to someone who never been here or uh, is, is first visit or anything like that. And so I see those uh, personal meaning as one of the main bridges uh, in order to bring the real Israel towards the international community. You must be asked a lot these days about the Chok HaLeom, some call it the nation state law. And people could tell you, listen, you're a Jewish state, you have the law of return. Why does Israel need a, a, another law, legislation, controversy, some would say, to define that Israel is the Jewish state? Okay, so again, um, people can be fed from a lot of what's being told in the media. But let's speak about the facts, okay? Um, Israel in its first years, David Ben-Gurion uh, wanted to create a constitution. Israel doesn't have a constitution today. But that's what the founding fathers wanted Israel to have, because a constitution is something important. It's something that uh, uh, um, uh, prescribe or, uh, you know, uh, uh, fulfill all of the needs of your people, of your civilian, it uh, uh, inscribe all of your rights as a human being or as a citizen of Israel. One of the major issues for David Ben-Gurion in not a be that is not able to write a constitution in the first years was mainly because of the religious ultra-orthodox who really wanted the constitution to be a very religious constitution because they believe that the only constitution needs to be a constitution that comes from God. And so in that perspective, they didn't allow to have any kind of constitution being written to Israel. And so David Ben-Gurion has said, okay, we'll have a committee and we'll start working on a future constitution by slowly adding uh, the basic uh, foundation legislation. So we have quite a few foundation legislations. One of them that we never were able to decide about is a segment that speaks about the cultural aspect of the state of Israel. For 14 years, 14 years, different legislation and discussions about the character of the state of Israel have been debated in the Israeli parliament. Different version of this legislation. But one thing is certain, in all of it, for 70 years, that Israel is going to be called Israel, its symbols, its anthem, its Jewish character, its Jewish nationality, everybody are certain of it particularly with so much legislation that's being describing that, like the anthem legislation and different legislation, but it wasn't a foundation law. And so this is such a celebration this week, because finally, after 70 years, after 14 years of debating and bringing different legislations, after a year and a half of discussions in the committee, about the national bill, which is a part of our future constitution, we were able to form and gather something that we agree on. More so, if David Ben-Gurion and all of the founding fathers of Israel would have seen this segment, they would have signed it today, even yesterday. Why? Because a lot of the religious aspect is not there. The national bill described our uh, uh, national rights, our historical rights, our cultural rights, and it speaks very 
uh, uh, minorly about the religious aspect of that. And this is a dream come true of David Ben Gurion. I believe that in the future, when the next generation is going to look back on what happened here today, after we've passed such an important legislation that describe our character, the opposition is going to be looked at extremely negatively. Extremely negatively. Now, we have important friends here, Anthony Scaramucci, Mike Huckabee, and all, our, all this very important delegation, and they're all be going, they're going back. And we hope and we believe and I also know that there'll be great emissaries. What is the most important message these days that you hope, that you wish, that you ask, that they, you know, that they take away and, you know, there, there are a lot on the media. What is the most important message these days? Wow. <laughs> um, I would probably say there, there, there's one message. Um, after thousands of years, the Jewish people return to their homeland. There are native people to this land. Uh, after so much persecution, we were able to build here a safe haven for Jews, not just Israelis, but from all around the world. Um, the basic right of describing the character of our country is a basic right that every country has. And it doesn't matter if we look on England, who have you know, a, a cross on their flag, it doesn't mean that they don't give full and equal rights to Jews or to Muslims in England. Um, in the Constitution of Italy, it says that the Catholic religion is the official religion in Italy. But it doesn't mean that it's a, it is a discriminative country. In different anthems and flags and symbols, there are so many religious symbols because they are part of the culture. Now, in Israel, our flag, a beautiful flag, yes, it's got a Jewish character, a beautiful historic uh, story that stands behind it, including our symbols, our anthem. This is a basic right of every people to be able to describe their character. And this legislation that we've passed is doing exactly that. And I think that the message is to bring that out. Everybody who are talking about a racist bill have no idea what's written inside this bill. It comes from ignorance and it comes from a hypocrisy as well because every other country that did the exact same thing and even further than that was not called in this names. Knesset. <laughs> Knesset member Sharon Eskel, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks a lot. It's